good questions, and I want to just quickly, quickly review them. I know we're getting hungry, and I want to take a break, but uh, training takes priority. When you come in here, and I, I'm not putting pressure because I want you to see what I'm doing. When I enter this, it's high. Because what's he going to be doing? His elbows are going to be inside. That gap is going to be locked down. I'm not going to get too much into gap control right now. But he's not going to let me in there. Now, if his elbows are on the inside, he's just inviting me in. It's like, oh, okay, thanks. He's the champ. He's the world champ. That's where his knee's going to be. His elbow's going to be. I have to insert here and then use my body to slide right down his shin bone. Or, I'm sorry, down his quad to get in here. Now, what happens sometimes in his balance questions, everything is, it's good. I used to say to guys, there's no stupid questions, sometimes there's silly questions. None of them so far today, you guys are doing awesome. Okay? When you feed it, start here. Come on here. And then just roll that hand over. Here to here. Quick. Now, what we were saying is, okay, what if the guy goes to belly out? Start bellying out. Just lift it. Ah, Ooh. You okay? Ooh, yeah. That was a good one. Was that an air pump? Yeah. Okay, because I didn't put much on it. No, no, it was... <laughs> You okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Oh man, that was a good. Was it, was it like a parasite? Yeah, yeah. Take a break. Take a break. Yeah. Casey, you're in. <laughs> Sorry. You're right, brother. Yeah, I'm good. Sorry. Go really slow. Okay. So again, close that gap. We're doing everything to the right level, right? This gap should have no space. So I've got to insert here, and then drive down and just there it is. Okay. Come in. Lift it, feed it, come through. I'm gonna be really gentle, Case, okay? Mm -hmm. To here. You got all oh, your feet. You are not flexible. No. Okay. Can I get a right person for this one? All right, so I'm just gonna go this, this, okay? Start bellying out. You're just gonna get twisted more if the lock is in, okay? You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. If, if what we were doing before, if you start going to your feet, start trying to go to your feet. I'm just gonna come with you. Keep your feet, get 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 your feet. Get your feet. What's going to happen? Stay on your leg. Okay. Yeah. Don't let go of what you have, guys. So what I'm saying, the point of that is when you have something, believe in it and keep on it like a freaking, like a pit bull holding on a mock jaw style, right? Okay? I can't twist your leg. It's going to blow. <laughs> Can I use you to help you? Nobody's getting hurt today, darling. Do you need ice? No, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> okay. That's always my objective. Safety first, right? Sounds good. So let's look at what happens when they kick out. This is the end for lunch. And this is just old school good stuff. I learned this first from Sean Dock, and then I saw it again with Billy, and it was identical. Okay, so that, that tells you good stuff. It's almost like when you find a technique with more than two names, you know it works, right? Dale? Yes, sir. How many times did you hear me say that? So dig in, ride down, I come across, I'm doing right, I'm heavy, the sole is up, my palm is up. I'm not sitting here waiting on this. I'm going after it like a savage. I shoot that gap quick, and I get on it, okay? But he's smart, he's strong. Instead of bellying out, that leg can beat my hands. It's just my fingers. But when he does it, watch. Keep the leg here. This is where guys goof up. They wanna go all the way back across here and grab the knee, base out wide. If I drive into him, what happens? Not a whole lot, right? Watch. Grab the ankle, drop your chest, and drive right into them. Drop down to the ankle, this is one, there's two of them. Your basic, always turn the toe up first, you okay? Yep. Up, and then turn it towards his rear end. Then take your knee and put it, keep that pressure. Notice where my elbow is. You feel it on the femoral? Yes, sir. My elbow's on the femoral to keep the leg pinned. You guys tracking? Mm -hmm. Yep. I need this leg pinned. The elbow's on the femoral. Now I take the knee, I find the bone and I find the middle of the calf. And I take my toe off the ground and then drive in. It takes nothing for the second one. Cool? All right. And those are the cool bruises you get. One more time. <sighs> Nobody get ready for everybody. We're going to need it. Dig it in. Always feed it first because I don't want this hand just sit. This is doing nothing. My hand over here is doing nothing, right? Kind of like it's ready. It's not ready. I need it here. I want this. I want to be ready to react. If these feet start flailing, I need to be able to grab something. Whether it's grabbing here, controlling these things, whatever I need to do. But I'm starting to feed it. I get that. Sole up, palm up, right? Get quick. Come underneath. I say that and then I get caught in the pants. Come underneath. You saw how I did that. I was here. Replace his palm up. Transition over to here. The second one was here. 
but he kicks out, he's strong, kicks out there. My hands simply come across, one, two, okay? I'm not even worried about coming under just yet, but you see where my left hand is right now? It's kind of at the base of the calf, ready to block for that toe hold. Now I drop my chest and drive here. My elbow lands perfectly on the femoral. You feel that, right? Yes, sir. Okay, I need that. My head stays low, so it's safe. Take the toe, max leverage, palm up, sole up, twist the toe up, and then drive. If it doesn't work, they're tough. Assume they're gonna be. Make it worse. Sorry, brother. Make a little space, take your knee, find the bone, go between the calf. I didn't even move. You with me, guys? We're not going to get into the knee bar and all that. We'll do this and call it launch. Sound good? Yes, sir. Awesome. Let's do it. One, two, three.